Hello everyone, this is Nick with 1UP Games, where we make games easy. In this video, we're going to go over the new Pokemon Snap for the Nintendo Switch. The Pokemon Company just showed the first glimpse of this game earlier today, as of this recording, and I was blown away. I was not expecting Pokemon Snap to be coming, honestly, ever. So this game looks so beautiful. Look at these graphics. I mean, this looks kind of how I imagine a full-fledged Pokemon game like Sword and Shield should look. But I understand it's a lot easier to make this game look as good as it does because it doesn't have all the battles and everything. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with Pokemon Sword and Shield. But Snap, I'm super excited for Snap. I know there's a lot of people who are kind of like, what? Who cares about this game? Well, I'm guessing if you're in that category, you probably never played Pokemon Snap on the 64. I mean, it was a cult classic. If you had a 64, you most likely played Pokemon Snap at least once or probably heard about it. But it's coming soon, there's no official release date yet, and which is kind of a bummer, but since the Pokemon Company showed this, I have hope that soon means at least, at the latest, 2021. I can't see this game being developed until like 2022, because It looks pretty much done. I know that everything's not finalized, but I'm thinking 2021, probably around summer. I'll keep my fingers crossed for that. So, Bandai Namco Studios is developing this new Pokemon Snap. Back in 1999 on the 64, HAL Laboratory developed the first game. To be honest, I kind of lost hope a little bit for a Pokemon Snap. This is kind of like a sequel, but it doesn't say Pokemon Snap 2, so it's not exactly a sequel. I am no, it's not going to be the exact same thing. You can already see uh, subtle differences between the both of them, but it looks relatively similar, which is great. But yes, I lost hope for a remake or even a sequel because of Pokemon Go. Because that's where you would snap. Well, you didn't really snap photos, but you used your camera on your phone around the anywhere in the world to catch Pokemon. Which I kind of thought that would replace Pokemon Snap from ever coming. Which I'm super excited that it didn't. That's awesome. I'm really glad that we're getting this fantastic game. And this game is honestly going to bring a lot of joy to me just for the fact of nostalgia alone. This Pokemon Snap, like I said, was an awesome game. I remember the first time I played Pokemon Snap, I rented it from Blockbuster. Yeah, that was a thing. Blockbuster was... <laughs> A thing, and if you don't know what Blockbuster is, it was a video shop that basically got killed out by Netflix. But I'm sure everybody should know Blockbuster. And the cool thing about Pokemon Snap was, I don't know what they're going to do with this new game, but with the N64 game, there was a few Blockbusters that had these special kiosks that you could print off stickers from the photos you took from your game. You'd have to bring your game in. I believe the kiosk was called the Pokemon Stamp Station. And it was awesome. So that station also played Pokemon Stadium, which was pretty cool. That was like the coolest thing about this. Like, you'd go get your perfect shots so you could get stickers of them. So like it gave this game so much replayability that it's insane. It already had a bunch of replayability if you wanted to beat the whole game and get all the get all the Pokemon shots cuz you'd have to unlock things as you go. And I mean, it's a relatively small game. It had a few levels and but you just did those levels 
over and over again to get all the Pokemon pictures. Which, it's mind blowing. Like, the, the difference in the graphics between th this new one they showed a little bit of and the N64, I'm just super excited. And I just can't wait. I want soon to be next week. <laughs> but unfortunately, I know that can't happen. So we saw apples in the trailer for the new Pokemon Snap, which is great because that was pretty fun throwing apples at Pokemon seeing how they would react. We even have a hope that that means they're gonna bring pester balls back. I'm really hoping. But you never know. But the differences in the two games, just the water alone is just so, and the new one is just so clear beautiful looking. Just look at that. Look how amazing this looks. Like, this is probably going to bring Pokemon Snap to a new level. Though, look at that Magikarp. The Magikarp just got taken away. That's awesome. Anyways, <laughs> rest in peace little buddy. But yes, I'm super excited to spend multiple hours in this game again. It's just... I'm more excited for this than a new Pokemon addition to a new generation of them. Like, I mean, I might get some hate for that, but Pokemon Snap holds a lot of dear memories to me. And, like I said, I just can't wait. I don't know what else to say about that, to be honest. But, I'm going to talk about those kiosks again, the Pokemon Snap Station. I want one. And, but unfortunately, they're thousands and thousands of dollars if you want to get your hands on a working one. Which is kind of crappy, because I'd love to be able to print off my own stickers at home still. Because that was like, added life to this game. So according to the Pokemon Company, you'll be able to discover new, never-before-seen Pokemon expressions and behaviors. I'm not quite sure what that'll be, because Pokemon Snap was like one of the first areas where we were able to see into Pokemon's lives and how they lived and interacted with each other outside of like, the anime. I'm not sure exactly if this is going to be a full-fledged sequel or it's just like when they put the word new in front of it, what could that mean exactly? I know it's obviously a new game, but the word new kind of gives me some worry that it might just be a spiced up first game, possibly with new Pokemon added, which I mean, I'd be totally all right with that. I'm not sure <laughs> we're going to get Professor Oak. I'm pretty sure Professor Oak talking to you the whole way is kind of out of it. You know, like, we're past Professor Oak, unfortunately. Though, if they brought him back for Snap, I would be so thrilled. I wouldn't even have words for it. That's how thrilled I would be. Like I said, uh, Bandai Namco Studios is developing the new Pokemon Snap. And I can't wait to see more on this game. As soon as I find any information on it, I'll definitely keep everyone updated. Because this is like a childhood dream come true. The making another Pokemon Snap. But I did lose hope. Because Pokemon Go really did take my hope away. Well, this has been Nick with 1UP Games, where we make games easy. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload future videos.